Okay, this time, okay, this is Q1. We're going to divide that as a rectangle and a triangle. So we go all the way from here, straight up. So this was same as Q1. And that's going to be 1. Then you're going to have this part here. That's going to be Q2 minus Q1. And that's going to be second area or the second triangle. <coughs> so this goes to again exact same thing. So you're going to have F R1. You're going to have F R2 acting at a different distance. Let's say X1 bar and X2 bar. Then from here you will go to single force FR and you will know its location X bar. So that's the purpose. <coughs> and instead so we're doing the exact same thing, but this time we took a different area. So you <coughs> F R1. That's this rectangle. So area is going to be Q1 times L. This location will be half of the length, which means L over 2. Then you have F R2. You're looking at this, and that's half Q2 minus Q1 times L. This location is X2 bar, and so this is a triangle, so you look, you're looking at third from the base, from the side. So <coughs> this will be 2L over 3. Okay, so X bar FR, the so our equation is X1 bar F1 plus X2 bar F2. So X bar and FR. FR would be FR1 plus FR2. So that's Q1L half Q2 minus Q1L. And <coughs> if you take 2L or <coughs> if I take L over 2 half you get 2Q1 plus Q2 minus Q1. So that will be L over 2 Q1 plus Q2. So that's what you have as FR. So, <coughs> I mean it's exactly the same as you had before, just this. You're, you're really finding the same area. So that's one part you get L over 2 Q1 plus Q2 and this is going to be equal to X1 which is L over 2 forces Q1L plus 2L over 3 and then we have the force there which is half Q2 minus Q1 times L. So <coughs> let's take this cancel and we're going to take L over 6 out. Actually, L is square over 6. <coughs> so if I do that, you're going to get 3 Q1 that's from here plus 2. Q2 minus 2Q1 and that's L square over 6 then you're going to have Q1 plus 2Q2 or <coughs> X bar the equation we're looking for will be L square over 6 Q1 plus 2 Q2 and then you have L 
over 2 q1 plus q2 and I mean, if you go to the actual calculations the top is going to be L over 3 q1 plus 2 q2 over q1 plus q2 so that's the location of that force now you compare this with here it should be same so <coughs> I mean when you have a trapezoidal loading you have two choices you could go like this divide the thing up into rectangles and the two triangles and you go through all this or <coughs> you can divide that up in a rectangle and a triangle and you go through this but in the end the answer is going to be same see so the area under the trapezoid is going to be the resultant force and <coughs> this equation here is going to give you the location how far that load has to go okay we're going to look at